for the next couple of minutes we're going to have a look at the steady state uh, energy equation um, so let's take a unit mass of, of a gas let's say that's going to enter into a system so this unit mass it has some internal energy it has some pressure energy it's pressure times volume it has some kinetic energy and it has some potential energy but we know uh, that internal energy plus pressure energy we call that enthalpy so I can change that equation to H1 <coughs> for the enthalpy so it goes into the system and we're going to add some e heat and we do that so we can get some work out so when we add the heat we have uh, this enthalpy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy plus the heat energy and then at this point here, we have all of this again, minus the work energy that we're going to do. So we, whatever the energy is had, we've added on the heat, and now we're going to take out the work. And at the exit then, we're going to have some enthalpy, some kinetic energy, and we're going to have some potential energy. So we can write that then as an equation. So we can say that here at the input, enthalpy plus kinetic plus potential plus the heat minus the work must be equal to what comes out. So what? This is H2 plus kinetic plus potential. So if I rearrange those equations and bring the Q and the W to one side, I get Q minus W. So that's from this side. This is the H2 minus H1. So we have the mv2 squared minus mv1 squared and we have the mgz2 minus mgz1 but we know that enthalpy is equal to the specific enthalpy multiplied by the mass so I can substitute that in and similarly for h1 and h2 so I can say taking the mass out of everything I can say q minus w is the mass times all of these that's just the change in enthalpy that's the change in kinetic energy and that's the change in potential energy so in short hand we can say that q minus w is equal to m times the change in enthalpy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy okay if we apply that to a gas turbine jet for uh, have this steady state energy equation as the air flows through there is no change in kinetic energy so we can eliminate that and this applies to the turbine and the compressor so there is no heat added in this in this part of the engine so that's w so sorry so that's zero so the work done then is equal to this expression if we assume that the change in kinetic energy is very small in compared to the change in uh, enthalpy which it is it's you know it's maybe one tenth um, it's, it's small in comparison to change in enthalpy we can negate that and we can get that the work done is approximately equal to the change in enthalpy and we know from a previous video that the change in enthalpy is equal to CP times T2 minus T1. So the work done was MCP T2 minus T1.